I'll reconsider next time I'm in town. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. It looks like we have mail from Lucy. How are you doing? I had something important to tell you, but I completely forgot what it was while I was deciding which stationery to use. Oh well, I'll write later. Okay. Lucy, that was a really weird letter. Stop staring at me like a creep. What are you doing? What? Oh, I forgot to give her fruit. Oh well. Oh right, we have a new villager. Before we head to the coffee shop, we should check out this new villager because ooh, they are scary. So, oh, <laughs> uh, I guess we'll go do that. Oh, we have a camper too. Hmm. Uh, we'll do that after. I do want to check out the camper though. All right. So this is Twiggy's house. I'm coming into your house. You don't have a choice. Oh, look. She's so scary. Why are you so scary? What if I just never speak to her? Will she leave? <laughs> I hope so. You're scary. Alright, let's go check out the tent and hope, 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 hope that it's somebody that we want to move in. So let's see. Fingers crossed. Uh, oh, a kangaroo! That's really cool! Let's get her to move in. Marcy. Oh, hello. Are you from here? I fell in love with this town and decided to take a camping trip here. I might not be here long, but I hope we get to know each other. No, but see, see, if we get her, then we get two villagers. Because she's got a baby in her pouch. So, two for the price of one. Hey, move in. I like the kangaroo villagers, they're cool. I know this fun game called Cost A Lot. To play, you draw lots that set the price of my items. We look at each other's item and its price one at a time. You can either buy the item or skip to the next. But once we start the game, you have to buy something. Alright. I'm game. I have some money. Alright. In this game, you're gonna buy one of the five pieces of furniture I have with me. We'll look at the items one at a time. First, I'll draw a random slip of paper that has price on it. If you like the item for that price, you'll buy it. If not, we move on to the next item. But if you don't choose anything, by the end you have to buy item number five no matter what. Ready to get started? Alright. Show guy board? Um... I mean, that's not a lot of money, but let's keep going. I don't really... I don't even know what that is. If I, that's... Uh, I wasn't sure where that was going. Vibraphone? Nah. Rocking chair? No. Spaceman Sam? No. I already had that. Alright, here we go. Minimalist Ottoman. Okay. I don't- whatever. That might actually go with my furniture set, so I don't- I think- is my furniture set minimalist or modern? I don't remember. But anyway, I don't care, move in. I just love cooking things over a campfire. There's something about the taste of charred lima beans. Alright, well, your taste in food is not very good, but that's okay. No, come on, move in. Move in. Move in. Move in. The right or left game? Okay. We could play for my exotic bed, ooh. If you do well, I'll sell it to you for really cheap, but if you do poorly, I'll have to pay the price. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Let's play. Uh, teach me? Okay. Here's how to play. I've got this flower I'll hold behind my back. You just have to guess which hand is holding the flower. Is it my right or my left? We'll play three rounds. The more rounds you win, the more I'll knock off the price. If you win all three rounds, you get it for free. But for every round you lose, the price goes up. I'm sure you'll win a lot, though. Let's get started. Alright. Somehow I don't think you actually have the flower in your hand because your hand is by your side. Right hand. 
Nope, alright. We'll try this again. Right hand. Aha! So I won that one. And then... Left hand? Alright. So I won two rounds. Alright, that's fine. Will you just move in? I mean, your shirt is hideous, but you're a kangaroo, which is cool. Can you move in? Oh, yeah. You can have my full guitar. I don't want it. What? You have mazes in your coloring book? Each maze has three paths to take, but only one leads to the exit. Okay. If you guess the right path in the first maze, I'll pay you piles of bells for your item. I think she's lonely and just wants someone to play games with her. But if you hit a dead end, I keep more of my bells and you move on to the next maze. I don't care what you give me for this stupid folk guitar. I don't want it anyway. You get three mazes to try to win. If you fail three times, you only get a few bells for your item. Yeah, sure. Um, Blue path. Eh. Okay. Uh, black path. Let's see. Uh, purple path. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I found the exit. Okay, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I just want you to move in. Oh my gosh, are we just gonna keep playing games? We've already done this one, but whatever, we'll just... I know the rules. Alright, uh, oh, I was gonna start with left, but whatever. Woohoo! We're right. We'll go with left hand this time. Okay, and... Left. Wow. Got all three right. Sweet. Do I... Maybe if I leave and come back? You know, Graham moved in a lot more easily than her. Alright, let's go back. Okay. Move in. <laughs> oh my gosh, she just wants to keep playing games! Like, how do I just... make this person move in? Meanwhile, Twiggy just, like, shows up, and it's like, I don't want you in my town. And then somebody that I actually want in my town is, like, being annoying. I'm gonna run out of space in my bag. Okay, we've played the same game, like, five times. I- I don't care. I don't actually want to play these games. I'm gonna lose all my money. Like, that's what's gonna happen. I think that's her plan. Alright, I'm gonna take a break from playing, like, a million games. And... I mean, there's room in the town. We only have nine villagers. So it's not like that's the reason. Hmm. I... I'm gonna go up to the shopping district real quick and see if there's anything up there that we want, and then we'll come back and try to... see if we can get her to move in. Like, this... this she's driving a hard bargain here. But I think it'd be cool to have a kangaroo in the town. Let's see if Nook's Homes has anything. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, oh, seriously, Tom Nook? I'm so disappointed. I think that's the fairy tale wall, but I really like the mermaid one. So I think I'm gonna keep that. Is there anything in the Super TNT? Ugh, I really don't like that furniture set because it looks like chicken pox. Oh, I'm gonna buy the security camera. For sure. Um... Yeah, I don't really want anything else in here. So we'll quickly check and see what the Able Sisters have, and then we'll go back and see if we can get this kangaroo to move in. Grr. Um. Hmm. Cuffed pants? No, I wanted to, like, look at it. Eh. Um. Yeah, I'm not really interested in any of this. So. Bye. All right, we'll head back and see if we can convince this camper to move in. All right, <laughs> let's try again. Fine, I'll play your stupid game again. I feel really determined now, like we have to, like we have to get her to move in. <laughs> Okay, are you going to say that you're moving in now? I really like it here. I wouldn't mind staying a lot longer, actually. You should move here. Hmm, that's a pleasant thought, but I'm not ready to move just yet. I'll reconsider next time I'm in town. If I lived in a town like this, I'd make the most out of each and every day. There are so many things to do. Then move here. Moving in here is a great idea. I'll start packing right away. Well, that was quick. Good. No. Okay. So she's finally moving in. That only took, like, almost 20 minutes. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Seriously. What the heck? <laughs> anyway, so it looks like we're gonna be getting a new villager, and we already have freaking Twiggy that we need to get rid of. But, uh, and I thought we were gonna have time to, uh, head to the coffee shop in this episode, but that's going to have to wait. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next episode.